I'd like to take a side a side mm -hmm. step into terminology. Sure. Um, Sudbury Valley made a decision to call the, the adults working at the school to call themselves staff. Right. Right. Because they wanted to to emphasize the uh, the equality. Yep. And de-emphasize the the teacher aspect. Mm -hmm. We did that for many years, and then we worked with a publicist who said that the staff denigrates the adults working there. And so we we finally chose to use the word faculty. Faculty, nice, yeah. So the faculty, whatever that means, but right, right. right. <laughs> we, we we almost chose tutor because we are the tutorial school, and right. you know, th there's a college in Santa Fe, St. John's College, and the, mm -hmm. the professors there call themselves tutors. Right. We tried that; it never stuck. But faculty mm -hmm. it seems to be sticking a little better. Right on, right on. Yeah, and I think that playing with a lot of different educational context that is I, I think that publicist you know had a good point is that when people talk about faculty and staff that is a power <laughs> there's a power differential there professors have a whole different way of being powerful in higher education and then staff has a different thing going on this is the agentic schools podcast where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg. <laughs>